life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi guys, my name is Danielle Delgado. Ah, oh, hi guys, and my name is Omar Delgado too. Well, oh, Delgado <laughs> and Chaparro. Yeah, that's my last name. And you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. Chirring. Okay, I'm so excited to talk to you today because I grew up watching Pokemon. Really? <laughs> yes, oh, you're, I did. you're so fortunate. You're in the live action Pokemon movie. Tell me about your character, Sebastian. Sebastian is my character, and I'm the Pokemon trainer, mm-hmm. uh, specifically the Charizard. You know the Charizard? Yes, I do know Charizard. What color is Charizard? Isn't he like the the big like dr- dragon kind of? Yeah, yeah, he's like a dragon. Yeah, yeah actually, who doesn't like dragons? <laughs> No? Yeah. It, They're scary, yeah. though. I, w- I don't know if I want to get close. And everybody's talking about dragons, yeah. especially for Game of Thrones. Well, I'm so lucky and fortunate yes. enough to be part of this film and mm-hmm. to be the Charizard trainer. Mm-hmm. Yes. But he's, he's yeah. also a pop singer. So I'm very I'm very famous in the Rhyme City. Mm-hmm. And it's, what, what can be more exciting than that? How did the kids like the movie? Your kids... Oh, well, my kids, they, they saw it uh, four, ye- four days ago uh-huh. in New York. I, I took them to ye- the yeah, yellow the carpet. And yeah. Especially Emiliano. He's 14 years old. Uh-huh. He was almost crying because he he's really a huge fan of the really? Pokemon world. Yes. Well, that must be so nice to be in a film that your kids, like, enjoy. Yes. It's like a big surprise for me, you know, yeah. especially because it's a, a big and amazing movie. But because my kids love so much Pokemon world and mm-hmm. they, they they feel so You've proud. You've been a really big actor in Mexico for a while and now you're taking over Hollywood. So how has that been for you? Taking over? Oh yeah, my God, taking that's, over. That's, He's that's, taking over. Well, I could say that I moved to LA two, two years and a half ago uh-huh. and the thing starts, is starting to to go well yeah uh, but it, it, it's not been easy you know I, i've been not, in a yeah. lot of castings and practicing my my language my english mm-hmm. acting classes and i'm so hungry and desperate to to, to really you know to, to expand my actor career i want to know what made you want to become an actor since i saw a movie about pedro infante he's a huge star well he passed away 62 years ago mm-hmm. but he's like our mexican elvis and since I was since since I saw Pedro Infante, I decided when I was seven years old to become an actor. What has been the hardest part of this journey for you? The hardest part, I don't know, to go out of my comfort zone every every time, mm-hmm. because I I know the mir- miracles start to happen in your life when you go out of your comfort zone, and I I've been doing that. First, when I moved from Chihuahua, my small city when I was born, mm-hmm. to Mexico City and start. And now I, I did it again when I moved from Mexico to L.A. And I, you know, I throw everything away, my income and my career, basically, yeah. to start over here in the U.S. That's amazing. Yeah. But look at you. You're in this movie with Ryan Reynolds. I think you've already made it in Hollywood. I'm, I'm, I'm having a, an interview with Danielle, <laughs> with you. I know, with me. No, really, I appreciate it, and I'm very thankful for that. I'm thankful that you're here with me. What do you want your fans to remember you for the most? Oh, that's a nice question. I don't know. First of all, I'd like them to remember me first as a good human being. Well, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.